we took put the thumb behind. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So somebody takes the bone. And the idea was that this it give the side more support when you walk. Yeah. The only problem is is we shouldn't be blocking like this. We should be blocking like this. Right. This way. So when the side comes up, this hooks. Then the strike. This single thumb against the guy swinging a bow full power with two hands, it ain't going to do no. much and you're going to wind up hurting your thumb. So you so said the thumb, the thumb, the thumb, thumb stays yeah. here. The thumb yeah. stays here, yeah. right? So whether I'm, you know, and again, if your thumb goes in the middle here, yeah. that's fine, right? If I'm doing a stab, right, or something, right? But when I'm blocking, it's here. You'll see a lot of, a lot of issues with guys do this. And then they turn. That's mm -hmm. wrong. Yeah. It's 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 here. This is the action. It's here, here. And if you look, there's a photo of Tatsuo like this. And that's exactly what I teach. But you don't come up like this and then turn it over. So a keon when you're doing these, it's like this. Yeah. It's not like this. It's no. Yeah. Like my thumbs never I never put my thumb inside the yoku. So my thumb's always here. The yoku is the yoku is the is the curved pieces. Oh, okay. So if my thumb is inside there, that's that's a very dangerous place for it to be. If it's behind in the center here, then it's okay. It's safe. You got stuck, stuck in but for the most part, my my fingers stay below the yoku. Mm -hmm. So when I when I if I do a low block, right, I'm like this. So the idea has to be that it comes up like this. Right? So if I'm doing the middle block, it's here. If I'm doing a headlock, it's still the same. It comes up and hooks. So I was coming here. You're coming straight down. No, it depends on what I'm doing. Okay. In, in shot me out, I strike to the head. So strike me out, I come here and I strike straight to the head. Down, straight down. I was coming to the side of the head. Here. No. Okay. No, I'm here. And straight down on the head. Height. Right on the head. Okay. okay. And again, the head is uh, in the collar. Right. But if a guy's coming at me with the bow, and I, I do Put this, I might strike his hand, right? I might, I might strike his head. But what I'm hoping to do is when he initially comes in, I'm hoping this action is going to strike his hand. Right. Mm -hmm. Then when that does that, right, and then this is going to hit the head. So this takes the hand, okay. now I move in and strike I, the head. Okay. Yeah, th this again, studying with a Kobudo master, Clears up a lot of things. Yeah. So same thing. A lot of people in Ishinu have been taught to do a twist punch with the side. Right. So so do the twist punch with the side and, and open your fingers right. and the side falls. falls. Yeah, right. Do a vertical punch with the side and open your fingers and the side stays right yeah. there. Yeah. Okay? And that's what Gakia Sensei showed me from right. Mariyoshi So yeah. I asked him, I said, Sensei, this way or this way? And he told me, do that. And he said, open your fingers. And I opened the fingers and the side fell. He said, okay, do that. Open your fingers. And the side stayed right there. Right. And again, I went, okay, pretty funny, right? Because initially we do a vertical fist punch, right? Right. But then with the, when it comes to the side, a lot of people say, oh, no, with the side, you, you twist it, you turn it, right? right? Okay, but, yeah. right? Yeah. That's so, why I think back and forth with Steve Leonsky all the time. I told him exactly this, and he just goes, okay. So he does it that way when he's with me. But I know why he's in this school. Well, he's wrong. Right, I know. But he's Steve Leonsky. Yeah, he's right. telling me he's wrong. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he can watch this video. I know. Because I'll show it to him. I showed it to him. Well, again, you know, yeah. same old story, right? The old sayings are there for a reason. You can lead a horse to water. Can't make him drink. You can't make him drink it. Yeah. Right? You can clearly show that something is superior, right. and other people will say, no, no. That's not how my teacher showed me. Right. Okay, but what if your teacher's wrong? And I say, well, okay, well, you could be wrong. Right, and if I'm wrong, you have to figure it out and fix it. Right. That's, that's what you're supposed to be doing, right? But you don't change something for the sake of just changing it. And you don't say something has to be right, well, because this particular personality mm -hmm. said this is how to do it. So yeah, when people were first learning Kobodo, they didn't know any better, right? So this makes total sense, mm -hmm. right? Right. And it feels more stable. Well, it does, but yeah. the problem is, again, 
If someone's yeah. really swinging a bow at you with two hands and yeah, you're no, trying to block like right. this, this thumb ain't doing nothing. No. If, if anything, it'll break. Right, your thumb's gonna get hurt. It's yeah. gonna get sprained at the minimum. Yeah. Right? But when you explain like how you're using the sign, yeah. that's where it makes sense not to happen. So with <coughs> this, it just makes perfect sense because we punch with a vertical force. Right, and, so. I, and my arm goes all the way out. Right. So it's all the way out. When I punch with the side, I fully extend. Which is another thing that people say, oh, you shouldn't do. Right? Total nonsense. Why do they say it? Well, should... because they say you, you, you hyperextend the elbow. Right, you're hyperextending the elbow because you're hyperextending the elbow. Right. Learn how to punch properly, you fully extend, and you don't hyperextend the elbow. Right. It only extends for a split second, right? You hit the guy, everything locks, right? So if there's a bend here, that's a leap point where power can, can, can leap. But if it's not, all the power goes into the opponent. There's no power coming out of my body. It's no leak out of my body. It's the same with the punch. It makes no difference. That's why when I punch, I fully extend. And when I ask two Chinese martial arts masters, they both said, you lock out the elbow for a split yeah. second. And when I asked one of them, I said, are you locking out your elbow? And he looked at me and went, of course. Like, what are you, dumb? No. Of course you have to lock out your elbow. But, so I've been locking out my elbow for years. I have no elbow problems. No. See, now I wasn't. So now I'm locking out my elbow right. now. Kind of. But on a Makiwara, it's still well, a comfortable. It's because you're out. hitting and you've yeah. got you to extend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you've got to finish the extension. Yep. Right. So, so when, when I hit that. somebody, yeah. I'm trying to extend, but when I hit somebody, it's probably not going to fully extend. Right. Because right. I'm, I'm driving yeah. in, right? Okay. But that power is still it's going, going forward, yeah. right? And it's the same reason we don't snap the punch back. Yeah. If the yeah. arm is locked, right? So right. my arm is locked, right? My arm is locked, right? right? Then you have to put, put, put your foot back, right? So don't let really me push you. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. There's no power. Right, so there has to be that slight bend before... Well, there wasn't a slight bend. There's my hip. That oh. was just my hip. Okay. But, but you're, he's not doing that either. No, he's not. Right. He wants you to run into a straight arm. And I said, that's no. absolutely... No. can't be correct. No. Yeah. no, because there's not... Again, your arm can be locked, right? But then this, this has to happen. Right. Exactly. So you're still creating the size. You're still creating the length of the right. arm. Right. But same thing, I can be here. And, and I can punch, right? And right. I'm creating that length too. But if you right. notice, there's, right. there's still other things going on with my body. Right. It's not just this. Right. This is a very low level way to punch. Because it's just your arm. Mm. So again, if you're big and strong, you know, you develop it, of course it'll be strong, but eventually you'll get older and you yeah. will It's totally out. dependent on physical it's strength. Totally depending on physical strength. Mm -hmm. So high level martial arts is not dependent on physical strength. Strength is dependent upon proper body alignment. And the body alignment, once you have it and get it, it doesn't go away. Right. And that you can maintain into your old age. Right? The problem is most people don't get it. Mm -hmm. That's the issue.